Olivier Rockas, congratulations on a first round win here in Newport, which has been a very successful tournament for you. You've reached the final last year and the semi-finals the year before. Why do you think you've done so well here? Uh, I don't know, that's a tough uh, question, but uh, I like to play on grass and uh, this grass here is a little special, it doesn't bounce so much and for me it was not that, that big, you know, I, I still can play, I can, I can move, because it's not that easy to, to play here. But, uh, you know, you need luck also, like the last two years, I had also some very close matches that I could have lost and I won them, so, you know, it's tough, tough to answer. Over your career, you've done very well on, on grass in a number of places, including Hulla, where one year you had three match points on, on Roger Federer. Why do you think grass is a good surface for you, generally? I think, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm the smallest player on the tour, so I don't like too much to have the ball over the, the shoulder, you know, when it's bouncing pretty high. Uh, that's why it's, it's the toughest for me to play. And on the grass, the ball is not bouncing, so too much, so I think I have the ball all the time at the right uh, height, you know, for me. And I think that's that's why I, I think I can play good on grass and I can can move move well on the grass with my size. So sometimes uh, being small uh, can can help. <laughs> the last time you were on American soil, you uh, the last time you played, you had a great result in in Miami, reaching uh, qualifying and then reaching the round of 16 before losing to Roger Federer. Are you hoping that you're going to have another strong run uh, during the, the US Open series and the lead up to the US Open? Uh, yeah, but after here I'm going back to, to Europe, so I'm just going to play the qualities in Cincinnati and the tournament just before the US Open. But uh, yeah, I think on hard court I played really good uh, this year. The two, three tournaments I play, I played very well in Guadeloupe and in Miami. So, you know, I just need to try to stay healthy and to, to give your best. But uh, I'm really looking forward for the hardcore season and, and then the, the indoor at the end of the year. Is life on tour much different for you now that your brother Christoph is, is not playing? I imagine that it used to be fun to be together with him. Yeah, of course, it's not the same. Uh, sometimes we're playing doubles together, uh, practicing a lot together. So, of course, it's uh, different, but we spend a lot of time together in the past, it was nice to, to have him, and the last few years I'm going to do, I can I can manage uh, like this. And just finally, did you get a chance to watch the Wimbledon final yesterday with Djokovic and Nadal? Uh, yeah, yeah, I watched uh, not all of it, but a few few sets, yeah, two sets I, I saw, and uh, well, nothing to say. I mean, I think Djokovic is, uh, is the best player this year, you know, he just lost one match against Federer, an amazing match at the French. We had the 4th of July and he lost only one match, he won everything, so I think he really deserved to be number one and to beat five times uh, Nadal this year, when you see the, the level of Nadal is playing, it's just, uh, it's just amazing. Good luck in Newport this week. Thank you.